welcome back. More vitamin Y. Super busy today. Oh my god, so busy. So I, I tweaked the deck a little bit, took out some revival because it seems like a revival I had enough revival. And I'm actually going to go ahead and try out the, the Swiss Scarecrow because sometimes I open up shitty and, and the Swiss Scarecrow might be might might be nice to block. Uh, you mean you mean go along have fun like good game. We haven't even started the duel yet, sir. <laughs> I haven't even started doing it. Oh, this hand is totally good. Totally good. Yep. Uh, and then I wanted to go ahead and see how good Swiss Scarecrow is when it comes to... Uh, this is the wrong deck. This is totally the wrong deck. I saw the Mali and I'm like, oh yeah, it's Plague of Steve Bell. Then I saw the Plague like, oh wait, and where's I'm like, hmm. Wow, and I got a really good hand too. If this is Plague of Steve Bell, this is a great hand. Uh... Fuck. Why? Why? Why, Daniel? Why? <laughs> I'm so bad! Um, fuck. You gotta put it in there like, um, Daniel, the some play glitches. <laughs> like, look, the opening hand was just like freaking Labradite, because it runs Mally. You know, like, oh yeah, Mally, some Mally, some uh, Labradite. This hand is totally fine. Like, oh, never mind. Ah, <laughs> uh, wow. That sounds not terrible. I'll go ahead and pitch this over Scry for Summoner Monk. I'll do that. And summon Armageddon Knight, send probably Bell, then XC. Clur. Alright, well. Draw, then vanish. So, it doesn't have to be King of Skull Servants if you don't want it to be. Because you might draw something different that you want to banish, but. Okay. You know, draw then banish is much better than banish then draw because then you can see your next two cards and you get to decide if you want those one of those two darks to be what you want to banish. All right, so I'm just gonna quit here. Yep. Uh, depending on what my opponent does, I'll just go summon monk. Uh, first I quit, then they quit. Like, I guess he just got a really shitty hand. Like, I don't know. He, he won these escort servant, so I was gonna give him the benefit of the doubt, but that's it. I'm just not really sure how Swiss Scarecrow works because it's not like they're gonna attack me, you know? When I have Ultimae up, so I don't know. I don't know. I don't know there's like some other card that you could play that can flip up and then set for Ultimae. But it just seems like if I have Ultimae on the field with another Synchro Monster, you know, it's not like Ultimae could be targeted for attacks, so it's not like you're gonna come after it. So I have no idea. Maybe if you're gonna, if I. Something like clear wing, and you want to attack over clear wing, and I block it with the. I don't know. I'm also trying Temple of the Kings. Let's go ahead and try that out. This hand is not. It's bad because I drew the freaking Mally and the Ubel, which is just terrible. And if I get Dark Graph, I get Dark Graph, and this hand's fine. The Temple of the Kings works well with Call of the Hunted right now. I just want to try it out. I really. I was like, ah, I have one more spot. Let me go ahead and try out Temple of the Kings. I never got to try it, so I can activate the cards it's set. So. I can actually go Armageddon Knight, send, uh, oh, oh, wow, wow, that number generator. Wow, did you see that? Wow, that number generator, look at this. One, 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 like, wow, that fucking number generator. Of course you're going to grab this all in the morning. Like, wow, that number generator, though. If you don't believe me, I fucking number generator. Just look at that. Like, what the fuck? <laughs> like, wow. Shit, I drew you bell and fucking Temple of the Kings. Number generator. Yeah. What is this? Oh, okay. Well, I know as soon as I summon my arm again tonight, he's gonna go ahead and play that song morning, so. But then I could go ahead and activate Temple of the Kings and then activate the Call of the Haunted and summon back down again and I'm again and get your effect, but doesn't that have to be level three or lower? Yeah. Well, at least I know he doesn't have bottomless back there, but I know he has a warning and I'm gonna get warning. <laughs> Damn. Why do I always click the watches chat? There's no one fucking here. I don't know. I, I always want to do something with my hands. Oh, really? Like, I'm just gonna totally let you take that fucking play back. Like, you already committed to your normal summon and everything. Like, headass, man. And you're not gonna set this all morning. Like, wow. 
Yay. Let's go ahead and get that Dark Rafter. So you're running some Scarecrows. I'm just not sure how I feel about them right now. So we're going to go ahead and discard Special Summon. I could go for Ultimate this turn, especially since my opponent didn't set any of... He didn't set the Solemn Warning that he got? Like, nigga. Hell yeah, I, I can go with Ultimate this turn. I just won't have any set cards, that's the problem. Because I'm going to have to activate Temple King, then I'm going to have to do that play and activate the Call of the Haunted, so. So go ahead and send you. And we'll summon Armageddon Knight. Alright. Once I get all my plays out of the way, because I'm definitely going to get some warning. I, I'm just surprised he didn't set it. And I know that's not bottomless. Like, I, I don't know why he didn't set it. Yeah, I guess I'll just go ahead and go into... It's weird that I'm not running, uh... I don't... Do I run? I don't, I don't run. I don't run, uh... It's a different deck, isn't it? I don't run... Do I run, like, like, Masculine and shit in this deck? I don't remember. Huh. I do not remember. This card is so hard. It's more than one giant monster. Hmm. Let's see. I just go for Exiton. Just go for X ton. Ah, destroy all that. Yeah, you'll definitely have more cards than me, so. You still have more cards than me. So if I draw another set card, then I'll definitely go the whole Temple of the Kings thing. I'll probably just set it. Actually, I could just set it. Like, next turn, I can summon Ultimaya. You know, if the cult doesn't get destroyed, if it gets MST or something, then I'll train and summon Terror. But if it doesn't, then I'll go call, summon uh, Labradite and Mali, summon that, uh, set the Temple of the Kings. I didn't set the call. Eh, it's fine. Forgot. <laughs> I forgot. I just said it and I forgot. So I know he has a Solemn Warning. I know he has, I know like, two of the monsters in his hand. Okay, so he's going to set the Solemn Warning this time. I don't know why you didn't set it last time. Okay, ass man. Okay, then you're just gonna throw the Regeki. What the fuck with the number generator? Oh my god. You just pot. Reveal Regeki. Didn't choose it. Shuffle. Draw Regeki. Like, what the fuck? Like, really? Like, wow, wow, wow. This is, this is actually getting really dumb. Clearly getting like holy shit. Like really? Pot reveal bottomless. Solemn warning Regeki grabs the solemn warning, shuffles his deck, and then draws Regeki again the next turn. Like what the fuck? Like wow, this is this is actually fucking shocking. That it's actually like this right now. It's, it's actually fucking amazing. No, no, just cards at one. Which happen to be, which happen to be good cards. I should draw you bell or something. Alright. So, I can't activate one. If we saw him warning it, then it technically wasn't activated. Yeah. It's not your fault. Not your fault. Stupid DM. Stupid all member generators, actually. Because if you saw them, then I was, was it activated? That's the question. I'm not sure. Go ahead and activate Temple of the Kings. Set. 
Activate. Okay. There you go. Okay, class. There you go. That's what I'm wondering if, if my card is activated when I... Negate the activation. So, so technically, not that I, don't, I wouldn't do this play or anything, I'm just saying technically I didn't activate. That's fine. Go ahead. I just need to, I need to just draw one more set card. Next turn I can definitely go for Ultimaya. Watch him get fucking bottomless. <laughs> Actually, there wouldn't even be anything for him to bottomless, because I'm summoning Ultimaya and Mali, and then I'm going to, I mean, summon Labadite and Mali, then going to Ultimaya, and then summon Deals. So... There wouldn't be anything for him to bottomless until I summon the Beals, which in that case, can't bottomless Beals, so. So literally, just give me any spell or trap. Ugh. I don't care. Just give me any spell or trap. Any spell or trap gets for all to my other side. It's just weird. It's just... Maybe that's my problem. Wow. You don't want to attack. Alright. No, that's not what I needed. Not at all. Not at fucking all. <laughs> uh, I can go for Leo. But really, I mean, there's really no point. No. Look at all these fucking spells and traps in here. And I, I'm still drawing monsters. Like, I'm like, no, no. I really want to draw a spell or trap. I don't care what it is. I just, I just want to draw a spell or trap. Not even doing against anybody good. He's using fucking Gen X and shit. But. <sighs> probably take this out. Doesn't seem like it does anything. I can wait a turn. I just want to try it out. So I guess you're gonna sink six. You can go into Goyo Guardian if you want to. You don't have any Genixes in your hand, so that doesn't do anything. Mm-hmm. Or are you actually going to go into one of your Gen X Synchro monsters? Why do I click kick in this? I don't know what to do with my hands, so I just click on touch, and touch things. I really don't have anything around me to, to touch, so I'm just messing with the mouse. Yep, there's Goyo. Oh, comes down to the next draw in his back row, this door. And you're not going to attack, headass man. There we go. It's a big call. Okay. Someone's Goyo doesn't attack. Like, how does man? Alley effect. I don't get the Swiss Scarecrows. I really don't. I mean, they would have been useful for blocking text, but this man's not even attacking me. Let's go ahead and sink into Ultimaya. Set. Effect. I could actually go for two Ultimayas, actually. Because I can activate the limit reverse, summoning back the Ultimaya, the melee effect, summon another Ultimaya. But I would have to activate this card and I wouldn't have another set. So. I uh, guess I'll go ahead and summon Beals. Just say, could I, could, well, you control the synchro monster. All right, I'm gonna summon Beals, and if something happens to Beals, like be prison or something. There you can. There you can. I 
set a card, activate all to my effect response. You got something? Got some kind of, you know, negate my effect? Fine, more power to you. If you stop me right now, then yes, I will go for another Altamaya. I definitely will. That way you can't tar you can't attack me either one of them. And if I get a set card, then I get a card I can set set and they both go off. So, and it all be thanks to actually Temple of the Kings. That'd actually be funny because I can actually activate the limit reverse. Response? Do you have a response? Wait, I thought you special summoned monster is unaffected. No. Mm -hmm. You can. You have a response. I special summon Ultimaya. Set a card. Do you have a response? Some bills. Well, number generator again, but this card can't be destroyed by like card effects. So, so I shit you not, this man. Then don't play it. So let me get this straight. You go pot. Reveal Regeki Solemn Warning Bottomless. You grab the Solemn Warning and then you naturally draw into the Regeki and the Bottomless. And your first 10 cards of your deck. Whatever. You can play if you want. I don't care. Okay. Like, like really? Like really, number generator? Like, what, what's up with you today? Like, th th that, th that was stupid. I, I'm gonna preach fucking number generator to the fucking heavens crack open. Like, it's fucking stupid. Like, fucking DN or Depro, all of you guys, fix it. Fix it. I know, it's based on a fucking algorithm, but seriously, it's freaking wrong. I'm not gonna lose. At least I know that. At least I'm not gonna lose. Yeah. I don't get how so scarecrows work. I can literally, unless I literally summon Ultimaya and don't have any set cards. So I summon Ultimaya and don't have any set cards, then. My opponent attacks my ultimate because I don't have any other super monsters, and I play the Sister Scarecrow, reset it, and then summon. And that's the only way I can think of. I think I could have ended this duel, but I didn't. Yeah, I didn't do the math. He didn't do the math because this is not enough for game. This is only 42, but. I guess. I guess, I mean. That would be the only thing where it's like, man, I can summon Ultimaya, but I don't have anything to set from my hand right now. Oh, wait, I'll summon Ultimaya, and then I'll have this Scarecrow face down, he'll attack into my Ultimaya, trying to kill it, and I'll be like, so Scarecrow, block, set, summon. You know, that's the only way I can think of that card actually being useful. It's the only way I think of that card, because or in just in general. But literally, I think, like, as soon as I go Ultimaya, set a card, summon the Synchro Monster, you can't target my Ultimaya for an attack, so. I don't know. I don't know. Anyway, I'm gonna go ahead and call that. So, just number generator, just ridiculous. Like, this is literally what this video is all about. It's just like, wow, number generator. I draw ultimate nightmare and fucking Temple of the Kings. Don't even use it. Like, I didn't even use Temple of the Kings. Didn't even use it. So, I guess I'll go ahead and take that out. So, uh, anyway, I hope that you guys enjoyed this episode of, uh, 
vitamin Y. So thanks for watching, thanks for all the support, and I will see you guys tomorrow with T-Bones actors. All right, people, thanks for watching.